hotel in Somerset County is sure to give you a scare ahead of Halloween. That is, if you think you can handle the stay. <laughs> Nobody comes here for a good night's sleep. <laughs> hey guys, so today we're here at the Grand Midway Hotel in Winburg, PA. This hotel is extremely haunted and is home to two Guinness World Records. It has the world's largest Ouija board painted on its roof and the world's largest tarot card painting on the ceiling of the dining room. The Grand Midway Hotel dates back from the late 1880s and was one of the earliest businesses in Winburg providing a central station for arriving coal mining immigrants. Over the years, it has served as a brothel, a setting for weddings, for funerals, and for fine dining. There are 32 rooms and countless ghost encounter stories from people who have stayed the night here. The current owner of the hotel actually purchased it right before the mayor of Winburg was going to tear it down, and he transformed it into almost a museum for all these haunted and supernatural artifacts. So on top of all these haunted items that are already bringing all the energy into this place, there are countless stories of people who have died here and it's said that their spirits still reside here to this day. One of the most well-known spirits here is an 18-year-old girl named Martha. On July 4th, 1911, she was standing on the second story balcony with about 40 or 50 other people watching a firework display when all of a sudden one of the fireworks malfunctioned and it exploded. It shot a piece of shrapnel up and it came at her at such speed that it almost completely decapitated her. And her spirit is one of the most well known of this entire place. After some time of owning the hotel, the owner actually found out that below the basement in the floor is multiple bodies buried there, and they're not sure an exact number on it, they just know that uh, one of them happens to be a child. And on top of that, the owner had uh, canines come into the building, and in another room called the monkey room, the canines uh, detected something in the wall, and it turns out that there were bone chips, human bone chips, found inside the wall. Now we'd like to get into the reported most haunted room in the hotel called the Canopy Room. The Canopy Room is home to the famous Lily doll. The doll was donated from a family in Pittsburgh. They said uh, they got an awful feeling around the doll and they just didn't want it in their home anymore. Lily is known for moving on her own when no one is even in the building, being in different places or positions than she was last left. Just a lot of creepy stuff going on with her. Now, over the years, the owner of the hotel has brought in many psychics and mediums, and they've commonly said that they feel a uh, presence in the room of a woman who killed herself in there. And many of them have also reported they feel that the closet of the canopy room is a portal for the spiritual world. So a while back, lots of older buildings in the area were being torn down, and the owner of this place decided to salvage a life-size nun statue. Uh, this nun statue now resides in the canopy room, and the guests that have slept there have reported having nightmares about her, where she moves and acts almost lifelike and will tell them things like, don't worry, I'm not here to hurt you, only to protect you. <laughs> there is also a story that in 1949, this place was used to sell illegal meats. When a detective came in to investigate, the people at the bar decided to try to chase him out. Um, and when they did, the detective ran out the back door where he tripped and fell into the alleyway, leading his head to get crushed by a taxi that was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. A cool artifact we'd like to point out in the hotel is uh, this giant statue of almost a skeleton looking Grim Reaper. And the artist who made it said that the hand on it is a real human hand. Okay guys, let's start the investigation. Um, 
we just heard gunshots when we walked out the door and then a police car just drove by so what the fuck um what the fuck <laughs> okay let's just go <laughs> So this bar is the exact original bar that was here way back in the day. And this floor is the same floor. Yeah, it's all the original floor and bar. And there is a picture of the bar. Oh, yeah. Wow. Look, look, here's a picture of when they had funerals here. This place was also a funeral home for a while. Oh my God. Oh look, and it's the it's the world's largest tarot card right there. That is amazing. That's literally beautiful. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking sword. I was literally just gonna say this looks like where like a king would sit. Yeah, the oh my god. Spiral staircase. And I saw this online too. <sighs> this is crazy. All this. Look at. <laughs> how is she actually floating? I have no clue. How is that staying there? Another tarot card. Holy shit. Look. Canopy room. There's oh Lily. Oh my god. And there's a nun. There's a nun. Oh my god. Whoa. Ew, that's the portal. Yeah, I was just gonna say this is the closet that all the psychics in oh the my say god. is a portal. And that mirror is apparently where people see faces. You know, it's weird. I can definitely like feel something in this room. Yeah, the I vibe is definitely it. scary. Something. There's the life-size nun. The monkey room. Look at him. This monkey, <laughs> this monkey was apparently in that movie. It's the real monkey from the movie. I have never seen the movie, but maybe I'll have to watch it. Oh my god. That's, yeah. He's so soft, though. Oh my god. <laughs> he's blinked out. <laughs> So apparently this right here is the wall somewhere around here where they found the bone fragments. The canines detected them and they said it was human bone fragments in these walls. Holy, holy, holy. This is actually what's scary up here. There's Martha. Oh yeah, she's wondering what she did. Hit by shrapnel on the yeah. balcony. Yeah. That's crazy. Ew. So we read about this online too. Apparently the owner went to all these famous grave sites and took dirt or just like- Soil uh, from like their grave like sites. Sticks in that one. Yeah, just took all different types of stuff from their graves. And right here is the world's largest- uh, Ouija planchette. Yeah, Ouija planchette. That's crazy, it's right there. Oh my God, these steps. Oh my God, the top one is double. And right here it is, the world's largest Ouija board is right there. That's literally crazy. The world's oh largest Ouija board is right there. I want to go out there. I know, I want to walk on that. We're setting up at the bar. We've got our energy drinks, our stuff. We're getting set up. So the first place we're going to investigate tonight is the bar on the first floor. Um, there have been coal miners and people just at the bar sighted here and women from the brothel have been spotted here apparently. And this is also the place where the detective for the investigator died when he ran out that back door. So we're going to try to contact anyone we can, see what we get. So the first piece of equipment we have here is a mag light. It's just a twist on flashlight, normal flashlight, and uh, apparently spirits can turn it on and off, so we're gonna see if we can get anything with this tonight. So the flashlight will be right there. 
So our next thing is the K2 meter. This is an electromagnetic field detector. So if anything changes the electromagnetic field near it, it'll spike. It could spike to green, yellow, orange, or red, depending on how strong it is. And we're gonna set that right here. And just for precautions, we turned our phones on airplane Both mode. Both of our phones are on airplane mode. So those will not affect it at all. As you can see, I'm literally touching it with my phone and it is not changing it. Or our lights, they won't affect it at all. None of our equipment is gonna set it off. So we know if that goes off, it is nothing caused by us. Our next thing are these three cat balls. They are touch activated, which means when they are on, if anything bumps them or moves them, they'll start lighting up, so we'll know. These are literally just cat balls that we got from Walmart. Like they're just normal cat balls and the ghost can usually make them light up without having to move them. To show us that they're there or to answer questions sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna start our investigation. We have cat ball on those three bar stools. We have a K2 over there near Bay, and we have the flashlight there on the table. So if anyone would like to communicate with us and turn any of those devices on to let us know you're here and would like to communicate, you can do so at any moment. If anyone would like to come have drinks with me, you're welcome to. If there are also any spirits here who would like to make a noise to make themselves known, you can do so. If you want us to stop recording you and you don't want to be recorded, can you make any of these devices light up so we can know? I don't think they like being recorded. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera away for a minute. If there's anyone here who would like to communicate without being recorded, can you give us a sign? Did you hear that? Okay, actually, what was oh that? God. What was that? I don't know. It sounded, it sounded to me like it came from in there. Uh, like, it sounded like either in that room over there or like up the steps on top. Oh my God. I hope that one of our cameras picked that up. Now that we've turned our phones off and you're not being recorded, can you give us a sign that you're here with us? We also heard this was a brothel. Oh my god. You got that. I fucking got it. <sighs> That's it. They don't like being recorded. I'm glad you were video. I'm just speechless because after all this time. We turned the cameras off and then the flashlight turned off. No, I, I got it. I think it was right when I said about the brothel. Yeah. And nothing was happening when we were openly recording before. But once we discreetly recorded, this comes on. They don't like being recorded. If there is anyone here from the brothel, can you give us a sign? Maybe turn on one of these cat balls or turn that flashlight off. Flickering off. There we go. Holy sh! Thank you. However, it fell, but it was just leaning like that, and then bam, it fell. I don't know, that is weird. That's really weird. Okay, so I was just about to start recording to explain what's going on and the flashlight just came on. We just set up all the equipment and nothing happened in the Frankenstein or the mummy room. So we decided to come to the upstairs hallway, which is supposed to also be very active. We have the K2 meter there, flashlight, and my phone is recording for any noise way at the end of the steps. So we're going to sit here and try to communicate with something and see if anything happens. I don't really know how to explain this, but there is just a really, really bad feeling up here. And I think you can agree with me on that. Yeah, it, that. it feels really tense up here. Like I'm shaking. I feel like it, it's like hard to breathe.
we just stopped recording again because I heard a noise and while we were listening back to the video to see if it could hear it, it the flashlight being, turned on. They, they hate being recorded. Every time we turn the camera on. I know this seems like suspicious. Yeah, literally but, no one's going to believe that. It's every time we start recording. But we have not moved. Thank you. If you're in the demon room, can you light up the flashlight? Or if you don't want to be recorded at all, can you turn oh, on? Oh. We got that on fucking camera. Awesome. Holy fuck. Awesome. Oh my god. I just, my, oh my god. My stomach okay. just dropped to my freaking toes. I think that's our sign to go in the, go oh. in the demon room. Okay, I guess let's set up in there. We didn't talk about the demon room at the beginning of the video, and that's because this room usually doesn't have a lot of activity. But the whole story of this room is that a college student stayed here for a while, and um, during the time he was on a bunch of medications, and he would say that he saw things all the time, which is why the walls have all these very scary looking paintings on them. He said he was painting what he was seeing and the ghost used the equipment for the first time tonight on camera to say that it was in here. So we are gonna try to investigate in here. If there are any spirits in here that would like to communicate with us, if you could give us a sign that you're here, feel more than welcome to turn one of those devices on. We haven't gotten much from you tonight. Look at the gate like look at the gate too. I've never like seen it do that. It's like getting stronger. Oh my God, dude. Thank you. Can you maybe light that up a little more, a little stronger? I have literally never seen it I stay don't... on this long. Okay, it's stuck. Oh my God. Okay, thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Holy fuck, I'm literally shaking. <laughs> Shit. It's so dark up there. I'm freaking shaking, man. Lily, if you're here, could you turn on any of the devices we have set out there? Upstairs. I made it up. I made it upstairs. Hold on. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. We have a cat ball set out, um, the flashlight, the K2 meter. I can't, I can't even think. This is my first time being. What the fuck was that? Oh my god, what the- What the fuck was that? Oh my god, I don't know where to go. Something came from fucking under the bed. It sounded like one of those fucking jars. Clayton! Well, give me a second! She's calling out to me. Shit, shit, shit. Something happened, something happened. Are you okay? What happened? What happened? I, it, it, I, <sighs> what I, happened? I heard something move under the bed. Under the bed? It sounded like it was, and then I got up and I saw those jars. It sounded like one of those jars, like something metal. <gasps> oh my God. Holy oh shit, holy oh shit. <gasps> the cat ball, the cat ball's going off. Sorry, I'm really fucking scared right now already because I was rattled. I was by myself and I heard something. One of the jars is knocked down. 
maybe we have on video earlier if it was up. I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Did you you got that on video? Like I, the sound? I did, I did. I was on the bed and I was not moving and then something came from under the bed. Something I, I didn't mean to fucking yell like that, but I'm I'm really fucking scared. Yeah, I know. I was shaking the I whole time. I was by time. myself. I was like panicking. I didn't know where to go or what to do. Okay, okay. Let's uh let's look at your footage and see if we can hear. Babe. Oh my god, it's going off again. Did you get that? I don't know. I don't know. I just started we it just right when you said We just set up all the equipment. Babe. We're going to walk out of the room to see. Um, the owner said there should be some more equipment downstairs. And we were just going to set up the camera to see if anything What happens off. while we're gone. And the cat ball in her hands just lit up. Oh we were just getting ready. And oh, every yeah. time we're not filming, every single time something goes off. Look, look, it happened twice. That's proof that yeah. it wasn't us. There you. That is Freaking proof that it wasn't us. Once. Lily, Lily, if that's you making that light up, can you do it one more time? Can you make that ball light up again? Can you do it on the count of three? One, two, three. Holy oh shit. Oh my what god. What the actual fuck was that? Blair? That was literally on the count of three. That was on the count of oh three. Oh my god. That was literally someone taking a step. Yeah. Is someone here with us? I'm so glad I got that on camera. I hope it picked up that Holy sound. crap. I feel like I'm going to pee my pants. Yeah. Can you do that again? Can you light that up? You're playing games with us, Lily. I know you are. <gasps> oh, oh my god, and the cat ball. Both at the oh, same shit. fucking time. Right when I said you're playing games with us, both of them turned on. Holy shit. The reason we were saying that at the beginning of the video is because when we were reviewing the footage from before to see if you could hear the step that we heard. The, the cat ball came on right when we were doing it, so I came back to record asked for her to do it again and nothing happened and then right when i said you're messing with us or playing games with us both of them turned on holy shit can you turn that flashlight off in three two one lily turn the flashlight off turn it off quickly please That was like, it went out so gradually. Okay guys, so it's officially witching hour and we thought we'd take uh, the owner's advice and shut the door to the canopy room, which is a, supposedly the most haunted room here. It's exactly 3 a.m. We're gonna try the Estes method. We have all the other equipment laid out here. The cat ball is still in Lily's hand. Let's do this. All right, guys, so we have the temperature sensor on on the spirit box, and we're going to try the Estes method. All right. Are there any spirits in here with me tonight that would like to communicate? Red light. Uh, if you're talking about the K2 on Lily, could you make that light up to red, possibly? What's your name? Who are we talking to? You. Who am I talking to? Something. Were you human before? <gasps> Holy shit, okay. Oh my God. Okay, okay, she didn't even notice. Yes. And that said yes to confirm it. Holy shit, okay, that's all adding up. The flashlight turning on for yes. And are we talking to a male? Are we talking to a female? Is this Lily? My favorite. You're saying Lily is your favorite, so are we talking to someone other Vessel. than- 
vessel. Oh my God. Do you use this doll as a vessel? That flashlight will not turn off. Oh my God, right when I said that. Do you use this doll as a vessel for your soul? Oh, for sure. <sighs> I heard that too, that was really loud. When you were alive, was your name Lily? on camera but I heard that I know for an absolute fact wrong. That I heard that wrong I don't know if it means wrong about her name or the, the noise why did you come here why did you decide to make this doll your vessel Do you like it here? Lily, do you like being here? That flashlight has barely worked all night tonight. Lily, how many spirits are with us tonight? 20. <sighs> Where did they all come from? Did they come through this portal over here in the closet? That flashlight still will not turn off. That's weird how long it's staying on for. Lily, where did all these spirits come from? I heard someone walking. Bay, I heard walking. I jumped. Hello? Bay, I'm not kidding. I heard like four footsteps in a row. I'm dead fucking serious, I promise. The flashlight's on. I, it's been coming on and off, I think. It might have, did it just turn on? No, it's slowly turning off. But I'm telling you, I'm really freaked out. I heard like four footsteps in a row. Did it sound like it came from the Yeah, yeah, it sounded like it was like over here, I'm guessing, or I don't know, it might have been, it might have been above us, but I don't, I don't know. I just know I heard that. I don't know if it was loud enough for the camera to catch. It was like a distant thump, if you know what I mean. Like I could hear it in the distance, but I know it was- Multiple in a row? Yeah, it was like four steps. I know for a fact. It was like three or four. Okay guys, so we just enhanced the audio. I'm sure you guys see it in the video, but with the enhanced audio, it is literally insane. It, it sounds exactly like what I heard in real life. Like you can hear the footsteps. There were like four of them. I can't believe we caught that on video. With enhanced audio, you can literally hear every step. It, we like are that's, both shaking. Yeah, I can't, I'm in literal no shock. I can't even like. this entire building. I just can't believe that. Like that was actually insane. It, it literally sounds like a living person in like big work boots is walking out there. And that has been reported by many, like a ton of guests. All right, guys, we have another phone set up here recording. That way, if there's any sound out here, maybe it can hear it. Yeah, maybe it can pick it up a little better than my phone can. And we're gonna do the SS method again to end witching hour.
Okay, so when we were in the canopy room, we had two phones set up. We had mine that I was holding and Bay's phone right up against the door. And after the investigation, I'm not sure if it's on video or not. You guys will know by now. Afterwards, we went up to get my phone and it said iPhone storage full. I had 15 minutes of video and then it said iPhone storage full. So we just came up here, gathered our stuff, came up here, and her storage is nowhere near full. I have 256 gigabytes of storage on my phone and 182 gigabytes used. And that my just, storage is nowhere close to being full. And it just goes along with the theory of tonight that the spirits do not like to be recorded and will even manipulate the phone in some way like that to end the recording. Just don't get how that's even possible. <laughs> All right, guys. It is officially uh, 5.02 and we're gonna do our last investigation of the night. We're gonna do another Estes method in the canopy room. And let's see how this goes. All right. Lily. Hey. Lily, is that you? Lily, did the, did the butler try to scare you into not talking to us? Lily, are you scared of him? Very much so. I'm sorry for that. Can you let me know when he is coming, if he comes? Hey. Hey, who am I talking to right now? Is this Lily? I don't know if I can lie here. Okay, that's fine. So I started to feel really sick when I was laying down in the bed, so me and Clayton decided to switch spots for the last investigation. We're gonna be doing the Estes method again, just reverse rolls. Sorry, that's my chair creaking. Run. Sorry, my chair is very loud. I cannot get it to not be loud. Run. Is this the butler? Laugh. Who am I talking to right now? Who am I speaking to? Is it the butler telling us to run? Yeah. Oh my god. Why should we run? What do we have to be scared of? Okay guys, so we definitely experienced some really crazy stuff tonight between the running or the walking that I heard and then during the final investigation, the knock on the door, like it was loud. And it just seems like uh, the, the only spirit we could get to talk to us was Lily and the bully, as it's called, just kept trying to get her to stop and it's almost like it controls the other ones and they said they're like deathly afraid of him in some way but it was definitely definitely a night here but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the first investigation and we'll see you next time